Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very first latex video of 2021. In case you're new here, then hi, hello, welcome. My name is Maddie and I make videos on this channel all about fashion, fitness, lifestyle, but my specialty lately has somehow become latex related videos and I get a lot of questions about latex, where I get things from, what I like best, any recommendations, tips on confidence, wearing out in public, all that kind of thing. And this year I wanted to start a new little mini series where I sit down and answer some of your questions in a little bit more detail. I always try to get down and reply to all of your comments in the comment section under all my videos but of course there's only so much you can do in a little like chat box and I can't give as much detail as I would like a lot of the time so instead every month or every you know two months I want to make a video like this where I just sit down pick one or two questions answer them in a little bit more detail and and share with you my thoughts in the past, I have made videos similar to this, for example, my latex Q&A, but in that video, I think I talked for about 20 minutes and tried to answer five or six different questions, which again, is not quite enough time to really give my full thoughts on any topics. So today I'm going to try to answer just two of your questions with a little bit more detail and give you a bit more information and then move on next time to new questions. If you like this video and want me to make more of them, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, comment down below if you have any questions that you would like me to answer in future videos. And finally, as always, if you do want to see more from me, then please subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications so that you never miss another video. All right, so question number one for today's video is going to be, how do I get my girlfriend to start wearing latex or to be interested in latex? Whatever way you want to phrase it, I've been asked this question a lot of times. And of course, this doesn't have to be your girlfriend. It could be your partner, your wife, your boyfriend, your husband, like whoever it is, the person in your life that you spend the most time with, you want them to get interested in latex and they're not already. So there are a lot of different ways you can approach this and a lot of this will depend on the individual person. So if I'm saying something and you don't think this would suit the person in your life that you're talking about, then of course, use your own judgment. You will know them best and take some notes from this video. But, but again, just keep in mind your, I'm just gonna use girlfriend for the sake of keeping this video simple. Keep your girlfriend in mind when you're listening to this video and think to yourself, would that work for her? Does that sound like the way she would react to the situation and all of that kind of thing. Because what works for me might not work for someone else because there are so many different personalities. <laughs> okay, so let's bring it to the start. I'm assuming for most people who are asking this question, their girlfriend or their person in their life is not already interested in latex or wet look fabrics of any kind of nature. They're just, you know, normal everyday kind of people, don't really know much about the scene and yeah, they're, Kind of on the outside and newbies in this whole genre of clothing the first point i want to make is that if you come straight out to that person and say i would like you to start wearing latex without too much context without too much thought put into it that person could quite easily get put off it could be a bit overwhelming because if someone just googles latex clothing they're unlikely to come up with a cute little dress like this one that i have on my little blue vex dress they're more likely to see a full black um, like all-in-one catsuit with a hood and like scary stuff like that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I'm just trying to convey that to someone who's not already into latex, that is pretty intense. That can be a bit extreme and is likely to turn someone off because it just seems like, oh, okay, they want latex. That's what latex is. No, thank you. I'm not into that. Goodbye. And that is obviously not the reaction that you want. Point number two I want to make is that be prepared for them to not be into it. It's not everyone's thing and that is okay. If you really, really want your girlfriend or your person to be into latex and they're just not into it, then maybe be prepared to be like, look, I'm not giving you an ultimatum or anything, but I want someone who's into latex. So maybe you should think about that. Like if that's your number one reason for wanting a girlfriend, I mean, up to you. That's not something that would um, be a deal breaker for me. But if that is a deal breaker for you, be honest, don't try to force it on someone, but be like, okay, 
this is something that I'm really into. If you're not into exploring it with me, then that is fine, but maybe we need to go our separate ways. So be prepared that that might also be a possible outcome. All right, so now that we've gotten the scary stuff out of the way, how do you ease someone into the idea of getting into latex fashion? If you know, again, I'm just gonna use the word girlfriend just to simplify this video. If you know your girlfriend is into a certain celebrity, whether that's one of the Kardashian Jenners, that would be a good one, really easy example. Or another good example is Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, or Lady Gaga. All of these celebrities have been known to quite regularly wear latex clothing. Again, they're not wearing them in the bedroom necessarily, not that the public know about anyway, but they are wearing them on red carpets and wearing them as statement pieces. So for example, your girlfriend is really into Kylie Jenner or Lady Gaga. You might see them looking at a picture and be like, oh, like, did you see um, this dress they wore this time? And like, pull up a picture of a, um, of a latex outfit they were wearing and say, I thought this was really cute. I think something like this would look amazing on you. And if they're kind of like not into it, then maybe just drop it or just be like, oh, look, I just think it's really a beautiful like fabric. I think this style would really suit you. It would really be flattering. Um, I love what you wear. Like, I love whatever you wear, but I personally just think this would be really nice on you. And then just like let it drop, move on and then come back another time. Don't try to bombard them all in one go. Just kind of plant the seed, let it sit there and then come back later. Another great example is if you find a piece of clothing, again, it might be just an image online or it might be something in a store that is similar to something they already own, whether they own just a pair of black, shiny, like PVC leggings or like those, yeah, just like wet look, plasticky, cheap ones. Just being like, oh, like you look really amazing when you wear these. I love when you wear these leggings, these pants. Have you ever thought about, you know, something like this? Like, look how shiny these ones are. If these ones you already own look this good on you. Imagine how good you would look in these new leggings that are made out of latex. So things like that could be a great way to ease them into it, being like, oh, they're not trying to change me or get me to do something crazy and out there. They're just trying to tell me things that they think I would look good in. That is a great way to ease into the conversation. But then we get to the next point I want to make, which is price. I know personally when I was first asked to wear latex, to do latex videos, I was very put off by the price, but when a company reached out to me and offered to send me some goods for free to try out and share with my followers, which is how this whole process started, I will link that video up in the cards if anyone is interested. Honestly, that is the only reason I ever started wearing latex is because I was gifted some for free. Because as a person who's not interested in latex, Forking out $100, $200 for one item of clothing is kind of absurd and not something I would have ever done myself. But if, again, speaking of the example of maybe the latex leggings, I feel like that's a really good like beginner latex piece. It's pretty low key. It's similar to something they might already have in their wardrobe and it's pretty wearable out in public rather than something that's a bit more um, out there consider buying it for your girlfriend. Once you've already had the conversation, planted the seed, said, I really think you'd be, you'd look amazing in this. And if they seem into it, be like, oh, like what would you think if I got you some of these for Christmas or for your birthday or just for any occasion? Like maybe you just surprise them with a gift. You know their size, you know their measurements, you can look at a piece of clothing you already know fits them and take the measurements from that and then order the piece accordingly because if you are buying it for them, they're at least gonna try it on and at least then you have like a doorway into the world of latex. And if they try it on and they hate it, again, you just have to accept that that is a possibility. But if they try it on and they love it, again, compliments, tell them how amazing they look in it, how great it's flattering their body. Just be really kind, supporting, and just tell them that it looks amazing. Help them get into it if they need to, help them get out of it if they want you to. You know, just be really supportive and kind, and that is probably your best way to be getting someone into latex. I feel like maybe some of these were more obvious, but if this was helpful to you, I would love to hear in the comments down below if this answered your question. Yeah, those are my best tips for getting someone into latex, but again, go slowly and keep in mind that you know your girlfriend or your person best so if none of these tips sounded like they would work in your situation then feel free to leave me a comment down below with a bit more information and i can try to again answer it down there but 
Just a general question like how do I get my girlfriend into latex? It's hard to answer that if I don't know your exact situation. So I hope some of these tips were helpful for you. And again, if you're not willing to fork out the $200 to buy your girlfriend the pair of leggings you would love to see her in, then maybe you just need to drop the whole conversation because she shouldn't have to pay so much money for something that is your interest. So keep that in mind, putting that out there to start with. And now we can move on to question number two. And I'm gonna keep this on a lot briefer because I don't want this video to be long, but this is essentially, what do you feel about men wearing latex? I have absolutely no problem with it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not personally interested in a man who's wearing latex. I'm not not interested in a man who wears latex, but it's not something that I would ever look for in a partner. I don't care, my, my partner does not like latex. I mean, he likes it on me, but he wouldn't wear it himself and that's totally fine. I'm not interested in that really, but I am a huge believer in anyone of any age, any gender, any body type, wearing whatever makes them comfortable. I think 100% go for it. If you're a man and you want to wear latex leggings, do it. If you're a man and you want to wear a dress, whether it's made of latex or not latex, if you want to wear it, wear it. That is what I always preach here on this channel. If you want to do something for yourself and it's going to make you happy, then do it. Would I recommend going out in public to say your child parent teacher interview? wearing a full cat suit? No, but I also wouldn't recommend doing that if you were a female. So it's not necessarily about gender, it's more just about time and place and um, what's the word? Just being appropriate for the situation. But again, if you're a man and you want to wear latex, then go for it. I do think it's more suited to the club scene or like indoor wear. Same with me though, I wouldn't wear this little latex dress just out to get a coffee. I would wear it out to a club or to a birthday party, or I would wear it again like at home to take a picture, but it's not, I'm not going to the park for a picnic. I'm not walking the dog in this dress. I'm not going to the supermarket. I'm not going to my university classes. You know, it's not necessarily an everyday dress, but even if this wasn't latex, it is a skin type body con dress and there are certain places I would wear this and certain places I wouldn't wear this. So just keeping in mind the time and the place, whether it's fitting you right, if you're all exposed, because some latex can be transparent, it can be, you know, crutchless, buttless. There is a difference between latex clothing and latex lingerie. Knowing the difference is gonna be really helpful in whether or not you should wear something out in public. If in doubt, ask someone first. But it, again, if you're a man and you wanna wear latex, whether that is a top, um, briefs, pants, a jacket, whatever. If you wanna wear that, then go for it. And if you're worried about not being able to find a partner who's into you if you're wearing these kinds of things, this kind of relates back to the first question. There is someone out there for everyone. And if you're really into latex, then maybe go to some latex forums, some latex events. If you're, I feel like there's a lot of latex like parties and stuff like that in um, like Europe. It's not so big here, but over in the European scene, I feel like latex is a big thing. Maybe you'll find your person at one of those events who shares your passion already and is already really into latex. And then you can have something in common from the get-go. So there is always someone for everyone as long as you are kind and you are generous and you're respectful of other people's boundaries and what they're into, then just explore what makes you feel good and keep going in that direction. Okay, so that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. As always, any further questions, leave them in the comment section down below or if you just wanna say hi, feel free. I'm always down there replying to comments, so so come say hi, let's keep the conversation going. All my social media will be linked in the description box down below. I'm currently having some issues with my Instagram account, so I might be about to change the, the account address. 
So I'll make sure to comment down below what my new address is if I do have it changed so that everyone can find my Instagram page. But I post lots of latex pictures, bikini pictures, travel stuff, all sorts of things over on that account. I also, of course, have TikTok if you want to see more short form videos. I do a lot of latex try-ons, all kinds of things over on there. My Twitter, all that kind of stuff. And my other accounts, including my Patreon, will be linked in the description box as always. If you do want to see more latex content, that is a great place to go. And this month is the last month to sign up to have access to all of my previous posts because moving forward, I am going to keep it as like a month by month basis. So if you want to see the hundreds of posts that I currently have up on my Patreon page, there are photos, videos, stuff that I can't post elsewhere, go check it out ASAP. You will not be disappointed. But that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Turn on post notifications if you want to know when I upload. And remember to stay fabulous, stay you, and have a good day. <laughs>